Never imagining this would be their fate, an area family is now immersed in the rare disease community. KMBC 9's Donna Pittman shows us how they've gone from a major diagnosis to a major donation. It's said time and again, it's the best club of which no one wants to be a member, the rare disease community. Well, not only are the sergeants now members, they're giving the help they wish they'd gotten in one of the scariest times of their lives. It was also the best time, baby girls, twins, but something was off. Maddie wasn't meeting milestones, Kelly was. We're all in here. At 15 months, Maddie was diagnosed with Angelman syndrome, born missing a certain gene, making speech, movement, and seeing difficult. Having that first diagnosis is life-changing for any parent. And isolating, especially since it's rare. The sergeants really felt that when Maddie was hospitalized in 2021. When you're in a hospital and you don't have a specialist within the institution, it really feels isolating. So that was the impetus really for us wanting to get this going. This. The Angelman Syndrome Clinic at Children's Mercy, funded largely by the sergeant's nonprofit, The Miraculous Miss Maddie. The child with Angelman Syndrome has some very specific needs that unless you know the syndrome well, you may not be aware of. Child neurologist Dr. J.B. Lupachon says that the center is a game changer, putting all the resources a child with Angelman needs together, a sort of one-stop shop. They come to they're the Angelman Syndrome Clinic, their medical home, so that all aspects of their care will be addressed in that visit. More. Just as important as the medical care, okay. maybe more, the emotional support in the form of a parent advisory board. Patrick and Laura are frontline. While the earth shrinks around you, there's a huge community in not just Kansas City, this entire region, that will be there for you for, for Angelman Syndrome and all special needs kids. Laura's dad recently passed away from pancreatic cancer, and she told us that he would always say, instead of why me, why not me? And that is how they are choosing to face life with Maddie living with Angelman, adding the question, and what can we do to make lives better? The clinic, a huge answer. Donna Pittman, KMBC 9 News. And if you would like to learn more about the Angelman Center at Children's Mercy, head to Donna's KMBC Facebook page.